Hey guys, it's Hoofler. It's been a while since I did one of my Bloodborne tutorials, so I think it's about time I did so. As I'm sure most of you know, a glitch with the Whirly Gigsaw was discovered that turns the cannon into an overpowered full-auto killing machine. Pizza time. So, we'll be starting off with the cannon. You can get it as soon as you reach Forbidden Woods. There's a couple ways you can get here, but this is the fastest way. You don't really need to fight anything, just run through. I'm not going to be fighting anything. So you're going to reach this area right here. And you're going to run and jump at this wall. It's a pretty easy skip, it's not too hard. Now just roll your way up. Turn your camera until you see this building. You want to roll through this. Now we're approaching the building the cannon is inside of. Now we're going to go over where we see that enemy there by that entrance. We're going right over there. Just avoid him. He won't do anything. There's going to be an enemy over here, but again, just run through. Don't worry about fighting him. He might get one hit on you. It's not the end of the world. Now, I have already picked up these items, but I know right where they are. Make your way around this little catwalk here. Drop down. And the cannon will be on this guy's corpse right here. Alright, so now we're going to be getting the Whirly Gigsaw. If you have the shortcut, just follow what I do. If you haven't gotten the shortcut yet, and you've never been here before, it's your first time doing the DLC, um, watch till the end of the video and I will have an alternate route of how to get here from the beginning. But if you have the shortcut, just do this way. Um, there's also two ways to get the Whirly Gigsaw here. Um, and again, I will be doing two methods. One that's easier and takes longer, and one that's shorter and a little bit harder, but not, it's not really a hard tech. It's a pretty easy thing. So when you get here, you just simply want to quit out. Just quit out. It makes it so much easier. Um, it reloads all the enemies, and they won't be, you know, on you. You can just go on the ladder. Totally fine. Now, I'm going to be showing you the faster way. You can um, just watch as I do. You got this little railing here, just gotta roll onto it, and then jump out and over onto that rock. Go to the top of that tree, and this the world gig saw will be right here. Again, I already picked it up, but that's right where it is. All right, now, if for some reason you're having trouble doing the tech of jumping off that little ledge to the rock, um, this is the way you're supposed to get it. Um, this way is gonna take a little bit longer, um, it doesn't really take that long. It might take like 30 seconds. But um, this is the intended route if you can't do the jump. Or you're having trouble with the jump. This is an alternate way to do it. I like to provide my viewers with as much information as possible. And then let them decide how they do it, you know? As soon as you get here, just turn hard right. Fall off. Uh, there should be a little path here. Yeah, right here. Now, this, this is the intended way to get it, but the other way is way faster, obviously. Alright, and lastly, this is going to be the way for people who have never played the DLC before. If this is your first time entering this place, this is the path to follow to get to it in the first place. It's not too bad. Just make your way up the stairs. Don't worry about fighting anything. Um, get them to all clump up and then just roll and that fireball should take care of most of them. There's going to be some annoying little guys here with guns. Uh, they have these gun turrets. Um, just watch the trajectory. They are in a fixed position so they can't, they can't turn. They fire in a particular trajectory. Once you know where it is, you can just dodge them. Wait for these guys to approach you and then run in behind them. If, if you go in too early, they'll be blocking the doorway and you're not gonna be able to get through. 
All right, so there's a bunch of blood suckers here. These guys are annoying, but they're not too bad. Just run through, uh, kind of weave and zigzag as you walk, and you're unlikely to get hit. Um, this is a sign man. He's an NPC. Um, you just keep walking. You can open this door, and that's your shortcut. So that's how you do that. Um, it's a pretty short video, but there really isn't much to say on it. Um, um, as always, uh, thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. We'll see you next one, guys.